morning folks here we are it's uh, December the 9th 9th is it the 9th 8th 9th 10th Nine. Nine. here we are at the departure lounge December the 10th 9th whatever it is looks like I've had some water overnight anyway I just wanted to make a little video out with Anthony on his new steed look at that beauty Give Anthony's channel a, a, a nosy, Anthony Weston. I'll link it in the description below. He's treated himself to a bloody XR, lad has. <laughs> Egon don't even know yet, he'll be surprised. Just wanted to go out for a bit of a breakfast run, and um, I'm just going to show you, for all you folks that are coming to the Christmas do, next week, it, that is, how to get there. There's going to be... Um, I'll put more details up, but I just want to show you. And I don't think for a second that any of you are going to be walking it. It's not far, but I just want to show you uh, where to go. So basically, I know a lot of you are staying at the travel lodge over there. So um, we turn right at this roundabout. If you get a taxi or whatever, turn right at this roundabout. First time I've been on bike since Picos. Oh, baby. Feels good to be out on a. Confidence is not uh, up to much at the moment, though. So, straight over this roundabout. I'm not going to edit anything out of this so I can show you exactly how long it takes to get there. It's basically just behind all those houses there. So, left here. left at this one left at the next one <clears throat> so it is walking distance but uh, you probably won't want to. And just as you get to this corner, we take a left, and it's Alfreton Golf Club. And that's where the Wild Bad Christmas Do is going to be on Saturday. Saturday the 15th of December. So take a left here. Alfreton Golf Club. Oh, we're gonna get shouted at now by golfers. Oh dear, look at all the state of this road. Ooh. I'm gonna get a golf ball outside of my tab in a minute, aren't I? Ooh, ooh, ooh. So thank you very much to all of you that are coming. Can't wait to see you all. We've got about 75 at this moment in time. There are tickets left if you if you decide that you do want to come at, at this late stage, you are more than welcome. Drop me an email, richardwildbadtouring.com. It's £25 a person, including your food for the evening. And uh, entertainment all night. So this is it. So basically, you get down here, going through this door there, and that's your, uh, that's your Christmas do in there. Have you been in there before? No, it's yeah, it's nice, actually. It's nice. We've done a few gigs and a few uh, events down here. Yeah. So when I was looking into doing Christmas do, I thought, spot the spot on, really. Right, let's go and get a brekkie. Yeah. Say again? Yeah. Where? Yeah. Uh, Grindleford. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> so yeah, folks, that's it. Alfreton Golf Club. So get yourself to the departure lounge. Get yourself to the departure lounge at Swanwick. And... Uh, for taxi purposes, Alfreton Golf Club. And that's Saturday the 15th of December. Like, as I was saying, if you do want to come and you've not bought a ticket yet, there are spaces. Rich at wildbadtouring.com, £25 per person, and uh, that will get you your 
food for the evening. Thank you very much. That will get you food for the evening, a festive buffet, and uh, your entertainment. I've got some, uh, a couple of very good friends of mine that I've known for a long, long time. We're doing a bit of a duo acoustic-y kind of thing for us. She's got a super voice as well. God, it's been that long since I've been on back. Can't you remember which side of me frigging intercom's on? <laughs> I can't remember what I was saying, so I will start again. Yeah, right, looking forward to seeing you all. It's going to be a cracking night. Just share, share an evening all together. Loads of beers. Some laughs. Ah, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Really looking forward to seeing you all. And meeting some new folks. It's very nice to get back out on the bike. I've just finished Picos 4 this morning. Uh, which you should have seen already by the time this goes out. Some nice colours in the sky this morning. See you all soon. See you soon, pal. I'm going to... Um, we'll, we'll head back where we came. Yeah. But I'm going to call back into the golf club. Yeah. To have a word at bloke. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, it's good to see you anyway, pal. Lovely new bike, that is, mate. Yeah, cool, man. Nice to see some of the boys. Andy, Paul, Rich. Andy, Paul and Rich. Yeah, I was saying earlier, it's terrible when your confidence drops. Uh, you know, when you've not been on the bike for a bit. And, you, and your confidence is not where it should be. And it's like relearning to ride all over again. Damp roads. I know I can trust the tyres. I know I can trust the bike. But, uh, yeah, it's... it's Horrible when you, you let your confidence uh, slip a bit. Well, I'm not sure how many more videos I'll get out before Christmas, if any, because it's uh, obviously weather dependent. So, just in case I don't get any more videos out, I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And thank you for all your input this year on my channel. Very, very much appreciated been a great year actually really great year yeah I'm really looking forward to seeing you all on Saturday hope you all have a, a safe journey over I, had, I don't know if I gave you all an update on the drone when we're in the PCOS early October the dr <laughs> drone didn't want to work there was a weird very weird gimbal problem it was just have a look at this footage and this is what happened when I turned the drone on. Obviously rendering it absolutely useless. So I contacted DJI and uh, told them the situation. I said, look, this has never been crashed, but it's doing this weird, weird thing with the gimbal. Uh, can you have a look at it anyway? So I sent it in. It cost me 50 quid to uh, have a look at it and diagnose the problem. I, don't, I know it's out of warranty now, so I was panicking. I think they're gonna end up charging me a fortune to fix it anyway. So it went off and uh, they diagnosed the problem and said it was a, a, a damaged or broken ribbon on the gimbal um, due to crash damage. I'm like, well, as I've said, it's never been crashed. Anyway, due to crash damage, um, and obviously now they've got my drone and I've also, had to, I've already had to pay the 50 quid uh, charge to diagnose the problem. And, and the, the ribbon was something like 97 cents. Uh, the bill, basically, was 50, uh, 50 quid plus the 97 for the part, plus postage back from the Netherlands, about another 50 quid or something. So let's say 100 quid. I think it was about 100 quid. So I just thought, well, that's a lot better than I expected it to be, to be honest. So I thought, I'm happy. I'm happy at 100 quid. And um, they sent it back. Well, no, they didn't send it back. They sent a brand new one back. Absolutely brand new. Not not one mark on it. It's fully stickered up again. You know, all the protection stickers over the lenses and the sensors and stuff. Absolutely brand new. Not one mark on it. And and, and no um, no mention of them that sending it. They, they never said they were sending a new one back or anything. I just paid for the repair on mine, and they sent a brand new one back. 
So thank you, DJI. And I've still not flown it. <laughs> it's not, I turned it on to update firmware and uh, I've still never flown it. It's tucked away in my top box now and I've uh, just not had opportunity. I guess I've not been out on the bike, so. It's all the deer. Well, it's been very nice to uh, get back out on this beauty. Look at Andy's cute little panniers. <laughs> they are cute little things they are, pal. <laughs> what do you carry in there, your little pack up? You got your sandwiches in them? I'm not liking right handers at the moment. I think right handers me normal normally me uh, my preferred side or my most comfortable side. You know you always have a weird thing don't you with your left and right? Well I do anyway. I always feel more confident going into right handers as I do left handers and I'm left handed. Very weird. But anyway, yeah, I feel uh, not very confident going into rights at the moment. Ooh. Well, what a filthy morning. The bikes are absolutely ditched. Most definitely gonna have to give this a clean later on and maybe get it all uh, ACF 50 up. <laughs> right, folks, I'm off. It's been a pleasure as always spending a bit of time with you on this beautiful, filthy Sunday morning. I very much look forward to seeing some of you on Saturday and uh, I will speak to all of you soon. Thanks folks. I've had a runny nose on this run, I know that folks, a bloody runny nose. Sounded like the... Uh, Daddy dog there, or granddad dog, whatever they call him. Gotta dig up the road! No, uh, Mr. Bull. Mr. Bull, that's it. Mr. Bull is digging up the road. Oh, nearly forgot to bloody indicate then. Over and out, friends. Over and out.